Hello, Dan Henry here at Fox 4 in Dallas with a look at the solar eclipse. Let's take a look at how these uh, form. Uh, again, it's when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, and that creates a shadow. Now, there's a partial shadow that we call the penumbra. Uh, this time around, we are in the sweet spot, meaning we're going to be in the umbra, or the full shadow that that moon casts on the earth itself. And totality is what we call when we are in that full shadow, and it doesn't last too long. Let's take a look at the uh, detailed times here for Dallas. The eclipse itself starts at 1223 in the afternoon. Here are the key times you have to remember. Totality starts at 140 and ends at roughly 144. That's when it's actually safe at four minute period to look at the sun. And when you do, you're going to see a spectacular sight, weather cooperating, of course. You'll be able to see the uh, sun's uh, outer atmosphere, the uh, corona, and then the entire eclipse ends at 302 in the afternoon. Here's a bonus. In addition to be able to see this uh, total eclipse, you also, as the sky turns dark in the uh, early afternoon hours, going to be able to see Jupiter and Venus not too far off uh, from the actual uh, eclipsed sun itself and the comet uh, 12P or Pons Brooks Comet. It's a pretty rare comet to, to see. And uh, it's also nicknamed at times the Devil Comet because its celestial body actually has horns, or it looks like it has horns on it, so it gets that nickname itself. So just a couple more reasons that you want to carve out some time on Monday, April the 8th to take in that uh, total solar eclipse. Weather cooperating, of course. We'll keep you up to date here at Fox 4.